Hello and greetings everyone. Been a lovely day here in the northeast. I've just been feeding the seagulls and the pigeons, so if you hear lots of birds, that's why. It's uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Now, I've been asking a couple of questions about myself lately. Um, I posted on some pages about me sort of martial art history or me Odin, Odinist history. Um, so I thought I'd probably, you know, just talk about that today. Um, I'm 60 next person. I live in the northeast of England. And I've been interested in the gods since I was seven. When I got given a vacant toy for Christmas. I've, uh, I used to be a member of the Knights Templars and spent some time in Portugal doing humanitarian stuff. At that time I was just pretending to be a Christian, which isn't very good, but I got pretty good at doing it. Um, when I come back, I decided just to let everyone know that I'm not a Christian. Which everyone says, oh, we know that anyway, so it was no surprise. Um, also a member of the Odin's Fellowship in the UK. And I've been a member of that for quite some time. Uh, I'm in Ty's Hearth of Northumberland. Yeah. Been doing martial arts for about 40 years. Fifth time Jiu Jitsu. Been in Japan fighting. Um, took part in the World Championships in Sumo Wrestling. You probably guessed because I'm a big guy. Uh, I've done kickboxing. Most of my life I've been doing security work. I think for about 30 years I've been in the security industry. Uh, that's what I was doing in Portugal, as part of humanitarian stuff. I was in charge of security out there. Now I'm fully into my face. 100% into my faith now. Everything I do is got to do with my faith, with the gods. Uh, a couple of years ago, I got with a group and we decided to start off our own um, small group. And uh, the name of Odin's Brotherhood was decided on. I didn't like the name, but I just went with everyone else's opinion. Well, the next time I looked, uh, one by one, they just start being more, I don't know, not active. I've always been an active person. So the next time we met, when they didn't, none of them turned up. Um, I just decided to go, keep it going, go on alone. And what I do now is I use all this brotherhood as an information page. Outside the Odin's Brotherhood, I belong to a clan. Um, and that clan is very personal. It's very hard to get into. In fact, we haven't took any members for a long, long time. And I've had a couple of people ask to join, but I've, they've been turned down. Um, if you're a member of a clan, you've got to give your oath. And if I don't know someone, I haven't known them for a long time, and I don't trust them, there's no way I'm going to allow them to make an oath to us. That's about it with me you now. I study every night about the gods, I read every night about the gods. Um, I try and promote the faith as much as I can. Um, I took part in some living history events. I've even been to Norway, a place called Kamoi Island, and done a living history event there. I've travelled all over the UK doing them, including Scotland and Barbara Castle, Holy Island, which is Lindisfarne, most of you know it's Lindisfarne. We do a Viking uh, living history camp there. I do weapons training. All in all, I keep myself very busy. I'm not as busy as I used to be. As I say, I'm 60 next birthday. And it's, um, it's difficult. But I mean, my faith comes above everything. I don't smoke, don't drink, don't have a partner. Um, faith to me is everything. So it does get upsetting, you know, when you, you're going along 
and you'll see someone and you'll say, well, have you, have you read the Tavamal? Have you read the Edas? Have you done this? Have you done that? And they go, oh, I haven't got time. Okay, you haven't got time. Yeah, but they say, I'm, I'm from my oldest. Yeah, well, you might be, you know. Um, it's just everyone has different levels of it. I mean, a lot of people, if they wear the hammer as a fashion accessory, a lot of people say, well, they're not real followers of the faith. But I think they are because they've shown an interest in it. It's the same as on the Oldest Brotherhood, we've got a couple of Africans on the page. And normally I would just not allow Africans on the page because I would say, well, you know, you've got your own culture, your own religion, look that up first. But when I looked on the pages, they had loads about the gods. They showed insight into the gods. So I added them to the, the page. But a few people complained about it. How can you add coloured people to the page? My answer to that is, the gods chose them. You know, <laughs> I never chose them. The gods chose them. Chose them to follow the path. It's not up to me to see the court. You know, the, the gods, when they want people to follow, they let themselves known to them. I find that an awful lot at the minute. The gods are constantly letting people know. We're seeing signs all the time, everything we're around with. And it's up to us to follow the way. Now, I've had a, a good, adventurous life. I've been a member of an MC club. I've done lots of my life. But now, I'm happy just serving the gods. I've lived my life. Serve the gods. That's all I do. That's all I want to do. This lockdown has been a bit difficult. Give us more chances to do the gods. And as I say, that's all I care about. Not on about trying to promote different groups. I'm a member of a lot of groups. The Oldest Brotherhood, which I run, isn't a physical group. It's an information page. That's all it is. Now, I'm getting asked a lot of personal questions of people at the minute. They're sending us messages and, you know, asking us to help them out with certain problems they've got regarding the gods, and I'm more than happy to do that. Someone sent us uh, some runes the other week, asking if I translate them for them. Happy to do that. Someone asked us about how Bola died. Um, and I did a video yesterday about it. I happen to have anyone that shows an interest in the gods. So the main part of this is just to let you know a little bit about me, because I haven't really talked about much about myself. Um, and just to let you know, if you need to study more, you want to study more, there's nothing stopping you. You know, and if you've got any questions about the gods, ask us. If I don't know, I know lots of people I do know. Anyone in the UK, um, if you want to be more active, we've got the Bonus Fellowship who have a temple in Newark. Um, in the northeast, we're going to be a lot more active. If you're in the northeast of England, we've got a page called 2020. That's all you got to type in 2020, and you get a page. Um, and that's just for people in the northeast to follow an interest in the Viking way. Okay, and everyone, hail the gods, hail Tia, hail Air, stay safe, toodles.